Phenol acetate, an acylated version of phenol, reacts with bromine and the Lewis acid to give regioisomeric para and orthobromide substitution outcomes as the major products. Even though the acyl group is electron withdrawing, the availability of a lone pair on the phenolic oxygen activates the ortho and para positions, and also stabilizes the carbocations formed when bromine adds to these positions. Despite the carbonyl of the acyl group being electron withdrawing, the lone pair of the phenolic oxygen is still available to donate into the aromatic pi system, which makes the cycle activated and more nucleophilic. When bromine adds to the ortho and para positions, the charge is able to spread around the remaining pi system and also onto the phenolic oxygen, as seen here in the highlighted resonance structures. Deprotonation of both carbocations leads to the substitution products observed. Firstly, bromine donates a lone pair to the Lewis acid to form an activated electrophilic complex. Since phenol acetate is not as activated as phenol itself, the catalyst is required here. The activated aromatic ring then attacks the electrophile and two sigma complex carbocations are formed. Addition of the para and ortho positions is favored over the meta possibility because of better delocalization possibilities in these situations. In both the para and ortho pathways, the charge is not only spread over the pi system in the cycle, but also onto the external oxygen as shown in the highlighted resonance structures. While each carbocation is stabilized by resonance, they are both reactive. Deprotonation delivers a pair of electrons back into the pi system and the stable aromatic sextet is reformed. Overall, phenol acetate reacts as an activated benzene system. When treated with bromine and the Lewis acid catalyst, the para and ortho substitution products are formed via the most stabilized carbocations.